Good morning. We welcome you to Christ Episcopal Church, both those of you joining us online and those of you here in person via uh, our online services. We have Facebook and Zoom. If you are online, please use the chat feature to introduce yourself to one another. If you are a new visitor here, uh, folks, please uh, look for them and make sure you introduce yourselves to them as well. Restrooms are located in the narthex where you entered the building. They are to the left as you exit the sanctuary. We invite you now to center your hearts and minds on worship as our service begins with the prelude.
questions this morning. So if you need, on the Book of Common Prayer, page 299 is where we're starting. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. There is one body and one spirit. There is one hope in God's call to us. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the holy mountain, grant to us that we, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The first reading this morning is taken from the book of Exodus. Moses came down from Mount Sinai. As he came down from the mountain with the two tablets of the covenant in his hand, Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone because he had been talking with God. When Aaron and all the Israelites saw Moses, the skin of his face was shining and they were afraid to come near him. But Moses called to them, and Aaron and all the leaders of the congregation returned to him, and Moses spoke with them. Afterward, all the Israelites came near, and he gave them in commandment all that the Lord had spoken with him on, on Mount Sinai. When Moses had finished speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But whenever Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he would take the veil off until he came out. And when he came out and told the Israelites what he had been commanded, the Israelites would see the face of Moses, that the skin of his face was shining. And Moses would put the veil on his face again until he went in to speak with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join with me after the asterisk uh, as we do Psalm 99. The Lord is king, let the people tremble. He is enthroned upon the cherubim, let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion. He is high above all peoples. Let them confess his name, which is great and awesome. He is the Holy One. O mighty King, lover of justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and fall down before his footstool. He, he is, is the Holy one. one. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the pillar of cloud. They kept his testimonies and the decree that he gave them. O oh Lord our God, you answered them indeed. You were a God who forgave them, yet punished them for their evil deeds. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and worship him upon his holy hill. For the Lord our God is the Holy One. The second reading is taken from 2 Corinthians. Since then, we have such a hope, we act with great boldness, not like Moses, 
who put a veil over his face to keep the people of Israel from gazing at the end of the glory that was being set aside. But their minds were hardened, indeed, to this very day when they hear the reading of the Old Covenant. That same veil is still there, since only in Christ is it set aside. Indeed, to this very day, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over their minds. But when one turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And all of us, with unveiled faces, seeing the glory of the Lord as though reflected in a mirror, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, the Spirit. Therefore, since it is by God's mercy that we are engaged in this ministry, we do not lose heart. We have renounced the shameful things that one hides. We refuse to practice cunning or to falsify God's word. But by the open statement of the truth, we commend ourselves to the conscience of everyone in the sight of God. The word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory you got it? To you, Lord up, up, up. Hold it up. Hold it up. There you go. 
Jesus took with him Peter and John and James and went up on the mountain to pray. And while he was praying, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly they saw two men, Moses and Elijah, talking to him. They appeared in glory and were speaking of his departure, which he was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. Now Peter and his companions were weighed down with sleep. But since they had stayed awake, they saw his glory and the two men who stood with him. Just as they were leaving him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah, not knowing what he said. While he was saying this, a cloud came and overshadowed them, and they were terrified as they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my son, my chosen. Listen to him. When the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone, and they kept silent, and in those days told no one any of the things they had seen. On the next day, when they had come down from the mountain, a great crowd met him. Just then a man from the crowd shouted, Teacher, I beg you to look at my son. He is my only child. Suddenly a spirit seizes him, and all at once he shrieks. It convulses him until he foams at the mouth. It mauls him and will scarcely leave him. I begged your disciples to cast it out, but they could not. Jesus answered, You faithless and perverse generation, how much longer must I be with you and bear with you? Bring your son here. While he was coming, the demon dashed him to the ground in convulsions, but Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, healed the boy, and gave him back to his father. And all were astounded at the greatness of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. Ruth, come here. Did you do my, the assignment I told you? Come here. Come here. Oh, what you find? That's for communion. Come here. Sit right here. Talk to me a minute. What do you see when you look out here? Flowers. Flowers, yeah. They're back up there. What else do you see? Two exit signs. Two exit signs. What else do you see? Um, like 100 seats. A hundred seats, okay. What else do you see? My daddy. Your daddy. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what else do you see? A door with the lights on and no one in there. A door with the lights on and no one in there. Can you see? Come here, come here, come here. I want you to stand for a moment. Stand right here, right up. Look at the sides. Do you see? Do you see what I see when you look at the sides? What do you see? Light switches. Light switches. But what about through the windows? What do you see? Nothing. Don't you see colors? Yeah. I see a little bit of color. Do you? Yeah. What colors do we see? Oh, see like blue. Blue. What else? Mm, red. Red. And what else? Green. Green. Yeah. And they all come and display on the wall, don't they? Yeah. That's like Jesus transfigured. It makes it something different. See how on this side we don't have any of that? We don't have the light shining in. It's just the regular windows. But here, the light shining in and then it's hitting off of the sides, isn't it? It makes a pretty display. That's how God is sometimes. Sometimes we have to sit still and just look and see what we can see so that we can figure out where God is. And I can see the school. Yeah, <laughs> that's
that's right. Now, can you go sit down again? Thanks for being up here. Can you go sit down, Ruth? You want to sit there? If you can sit there, okay? <laughs> the $10 million question. <laughs> So, Jesus is transformed today, and today I was thinking about, I don't know why, but for some reason I was thinking of A Bug's Life. Do you know the movie A Bug's Life? Mm, yeah. I, you do? It, yeah? Who else has seen A Bug's Life? Okay, we got some more here. <laughs> so, do you remember the praying mantis who has the butterfly? And he takes the big fat giant caterpillar, I can't remember all the names, but the big fat, fat giant caterpillar, it's a circus show, and he goes, transformation, transformation. And then up pops the beautiful butterfly, nice and skinny, how to get out of that big fat caterpillar. <laughs> it made me think today about the church, especially the rural church. A lot of times we look at ourselves as that big, fat, grubby caterpillar. We're not pretty. <laughs> we feel it. We feel that we're shrinking. We feel that we're getting smaller. And it disheartens us. And it makes us feel a little bit littler or smaller. And yet what Jesus asks for is like transformation. <laughs> He comes down the hill today in Luke and encounters the disciples who can't heal someone. And he goes, oh, how long do I have to be with this headache? <laughs> Maybe just a little bit of Jesus' humanness is coming out today. <laughs> but it's part of our walk. There are days when we feel really in tune with God when we really get where we're going to, when we feel as though we've accomplished much. And there are other days where we feel like the big old fat caterpillar, just kind of chunky and lit listless and being there, kind of grubby instead of the beautiful butterfly. And let, yet Jesus promises us this. It's not a moment that we can freeze in time, just like the disciples want to freeze this moment in time. Let's build the booths, right? Or the altars or the tents or whatever it might be from whatever gospel it is. Because Peter just doesn't get that this is a moment in time. And the voice comes from heaven, this is my chosen as I've taken up the mantle of being the missioner for rural ministries in the diocese, the one thing that keeps coming to mind for me is this verse, and I finally found it from Deuteronomy. I couldn't find it for a long time. I finally found it from Deuteronomy. I didn't pick you because you were the largest. I picked you because you were small. Because small things, remember mustard seed? Small things, the pearl of greatest price. Small things, the seed in the field, become great things. So we should never lose that picture of what the church can be. I mean, look at us. These past two years, we've been through this really tough time. We've had to pivot to online, to only 10 in the building, to being in church, to being out of church, from being masked, to being more masked, from everything. And yet we've ridden the waves of this storm. And what I have seen the small church do is thrive through it. Because we've had to change. We've been forced to change. Oh my goodness, that ugly word. <laughs> and we've done it. We've done it. We've changed how we do things. We have online, we have in person. We mask because we care about one another and we want to keep each other safe. We go back to when 
just a few weeks ago, we couldn't be all together here and some of us were more online because of Omicron. And we've still fed people. We still do our community meal. We still try new things as we've done with our outreach to the university and the Indian students that have come there. We're still trying. And I think, as the church itself, we should feel more like the butterfly right now. Because we are trying. And here's the thing. There are days that, yes, it'll get a little bit technical and we'll be running back and forth. And there are days as we've come back to full accomplishment of the church and being back in person and all of that, where the growth pains of having a part-time rector instead of a full-time rector are felt. And yet it's another growing edge. It's another way to transform. It's another way to become beautiful and rub off, rub off the roughness that has been us. And so we dig into this time. We dig in to see what new God may be inviting us to. And sometimes we dig in just a little bit harder and like the disciples down the mountain, we don't get it. We don't get the healing. We don't get what it is. But the thing about Luke is we're not done in this gospel. And neither are the disciples and neither is Jesus with the disciples. It will come. And that's what we have to hold on to. That transformative faith that will come, that will transfigure us into that likeness eventually, into the beauty that's the church at the end in Revelation, which is what this signifies here. The tree of life, all those branches, all those things that reach out for peace and hope and justice in a world that needs this and needs to know that we're still there and still trying. So here we go, church. I hope you're ready. I think it's exciting. I think sometimes we'll fail, but the best thing is that we'll have experienced it and that God will be there amongst the little hidden pieces if we can just pause and find them. Amen. Amen. And now guess what? We have an invitation to do. Are you ready to invite? Let's look. What do you think of that? Are you ready? Come with me, we gotta invite people. Come with me, we gotta invite people, you don't wanna miss it. <laughs> it is time to do our baptism, and because our baptismal font is outside in the narthex, that's where we're headed. So whoever wants to come out for the baptism. As we get the camera. <laughs>
please use the chairs if we need to. How cool is this? <laughs> oh, so we gotta let Bill out. <laughs> Coming out there, we go. We're gonna shut this door just so, and I'll put on my thing so you still hear me. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, the candidates for holy baptism will now be presented. Yep, you both. Okay, I present um, Sibudu Kenichiku Joshua and Sibudu Daniel Tobichu. Yeah, hang on. Hang on, babe. To receive the sacramental baptism. Hang on. Yeah, hang on. All right. You want to stand here? Stand up. Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? I will, I will with God's help. <laughs> okay, I'm on a different page. Let me just get it. Will you be responsible for seeing that the child you present is brought up in the Christian faith and life? I will with God's help. Will you, by your prayers and witness, help this child, these children, to grow in the full stature of Christ? I will with God so. Okay. Now, do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? I renounce them. Okay? Yeah. Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? I renounce them. Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? I renounce them. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Savior? I do. Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? I do. Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? I do. Will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support these persons in their life in Christ? We will. Let us join with those who are committing themselves to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in the Father? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? I will with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will with God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will with God's help. Let us now pray for these persons who are to receive the sacrament of new birth. Deliver them, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our prayer. Open their hearts to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill them with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep them in the faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Teach them to love others in the power of the Spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send them into the world in witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring them to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection, and look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Oh, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage into Egypt into a land of promise. In it, your son received the baptism. Your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ. To lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. Thank you, God, for the water of baptism. In it we are buried with Christ in his death. By it we share in his resurrection. Through it we are reborn by your Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into this fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray you by the power of the Holy Spirit, that those who here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen name of Jesus Christ our Savior. To him again, Come yeah. here. Now remember what I told you yesterday? That's what we're going to do right now. So I need your hat off. Okay? Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Can I hold your hat? And then remember, you're going to go down. Come here. We're going to go down like this. Remember? And I'm going to baptize you. Okay? You ready? You ready? No, the hat has to come on. Just for a moment. Just for a minute. Hang on. It's okay. It's okay. Hang on. Here we go. It's warm, I promise. Easy, watch your hands. Okay, stay still. Stay still for me. Tobuchuku. Tobuchuku, Daniel, I have baptized you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And now I'm going to wipe you off, okay? You did very good. We got one last thing. Stay right with me for one more thing. It's not as bad, I promise. Okay, one more thing. Hold on. I gotta look up the words, okay? You've done really good. Okay? Yeah, can you open that? Thank you. Tobuchuku <laughs> Daniel. Just a moment. You gotta make the sign of the cross, remember? You are sealed as Christ's own forever. Amen. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I lost the little thing. That's right. It's right here. Okay. Thank you. We'll get up later. Yeah. Are you ready, Kenny Chukwu? Thank you. Here we go. Thank you for All right. Oh, oh. he's so good, Kenny Chukwu Daniel. I mean, Joshua, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, you're going to be a learned scholar, I can tell. <laughs> I'm a helper. Can it you go, Joshua? You are sealed as Christ's own forever. 
Amen. Amen. That one you didn't like, did you? <laughs> <laughs> didn't mind the world. <laughs> You're like, Mom, what <laughs> Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit, you have bestowed upon these your servants the forgiveness of sin and have raised them to meet the new life of grace. Sustain them, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give them an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Amen. Amen. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we receive you into the household of God, confess the faith of Christ crucified, proclaim his resurrection, and share with us in his eternal priesthood. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Say peace. Say peace. Say peace. Say peace. You're a part of this family. Say peace. He's like, uh-uh. Not now. Not me. Not me, dude. Uh-uh. 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 U
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Most merciful God. And for some reason, my bulletin decided to change what it was. <laughs> a week ago. I don't know why it does this. All of a sudden it's not what it should be. <laughs> we praise you and we bless you, holy and gracious God, source of life abundant. From before time you made ready the creation. Your spirit moved over the deep and brought all things into being. Sun, moon, and stars, earth, winds, and waters, and every living thing. You made us in your image and taught us to walk in your ways. But we rebelled against you and wandered far away. <clears throat> and yet, as a mother cares for her children, you would not forget us. Time and again, you called us to live in the fullness of your love. And so this day, we join with saints and angels in the chorus of praise that rings through eternity, lifting our voices to magnify you as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Glory and honor and praise to you, holy and living God, to deliver us from the power of sin and death, and to reveal the riches of your grace, you looked with favor upon Mary, your willing servant, that she might conceive and bear a son, Jesus, the holy child of God. Living among us, Jesus loved us. He broke bread with outcasts and sinners, healed the sick, and proclaimed good news to the poor. He yearned to draw all the world to himself, yet we were heedless of his call to walk in love. Then the time came for him to complete upon the cross the sacrifice of his life and to be glorified by you. On the night before he died for us, Jesus was at table with his friends. He took bread, gave thanks, broke it and gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, as supper was ending, he took the cup of wine. He gave thanks to you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Now gather at your table, O God of all creation, and remembering Christ crucified and risen, who was and is and is to come, we offer to you our gifts of bread and wine and ourselves a living sacrifice. Pour out your spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the body and blood of Christ. Breathe your spirit over the whole earth and make us your new creation the body of Christ given for the world you have made. In the fullness of time, bring us with all your saints from every tribe and language and people and nation to feast at the banquet prepared from the foundation of the world. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, to you be honor, glory, and praise forever and ever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but
Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the peace. Hallelujah. Yeah. No one ever forgets crackers. <laughs> the gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, receiving them in your hearts by faith and with thanksgiving. No one forgets the crackers. The body of Christ eats the bread of heaven. The body of Christ eats the bread of heaven. 
the Holy Spirit to rest upon the only begotten at his baptism in the Jordan River. Pour out that spirit on you who have come to the waters of new birth. Amen. Today, after service, we will have our annual meeting, and right after that, we'll have a short little meeting of anyone who's interested in hosting a station for our stations on Ash Wednesday. Um, and I would like to ask for a little help because there are some creative parts to that, and I'm sure our young people could help us with that. So um, I expect, I hope to see you there. <laughs> um, are there any, oh, the Ash Wednesday service will be, of course, on Wednesday. It'll be uh, from 11 to 2 for the first round of stations, and then 5 to 7 for the second round. And you can go through the stations in an hour, so it's like being in a service. Each station takes us deeper into what we do on Ash Wednesday service, so it's beautiful. Um, you can go at your own pace and come in and just follow um, as you like. Are there any other announcements that need to be made? If not, then we'll go out singing the final hymn.
Our worship is ended, our service in the world begins. As we await our coming Savior, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.